hey guys welcome back to my channel it's Cassie here again and I'm back with another video thank you so much for clicking in if you're new here hi I'm Kati a Nigerian youtuber who is based in Lagos so guys on this channel I do lifestyle vlog motherhood and everything in between so please consider subscribing as for my returning subscribers thanks for always tuning in so today guys in today's video we'll be talking about ignorance and hearing the voice of God okay um, a lot of times we ignore when God speaks to us we ignore when God is trying to reveal something to us we ignore like and feel we know we know it all so today I will be telling alongside with a story of what happened how we nearly lost our life but thank God for the grace of God thank God for life thank God for saving us um, we would have been dead out of our ignorance okay so um, let me know in the comment section if you have ever ignored like do you always hear God speak to you do you always um, listen to the voice like that innermost voice so let me start by answering what ignorance is ignorance is the lack of knowledge or understanding ignorant people are either unaware or uninformed about anything that will happen sometimes we are ignorant because we did not know there was a need to learn something from that situation okay other times we are ignorant because we have chosen not to learn something we need to know the law says in his word that my people are destroyed from lack of knowledge now let's talk about hearing the voice of god the voice of god is a communication from god to human being heard by humans as a sound with no apparent physical source okay mind is the reason why you can't hear god's voice the Holy Spirit deals with your spirit, not your mind. In Hebrews chapter 4 verse 12, um, says that when you are connected in the spirit, you hear God's voice. If you want to hear God's voice, you need to submit your mind to the word of God. A lot of people talk about um, God not speaking to them. I've not heard God um, speak to me. Um, God only speaks to pastors, um, men of God, prophets. God can speak to anyone if you're closer to him. He said that I know my sheep. In his word, he said that I know my sheep and my sheep knows me okay for god to speak to you and for you to hear him he puts a kind of communication device inside of you as in the scripture in first corinthians chapter 2 verse 12 says the holy spirit must live inside of you to hear the voice of the lord okay to hear the voice of the lord the holy spirit must live inside of you okay there are five ways in which god can speak to us um, the first one is hearing the audible voice of God. Um, the second one is by revelation and visions. The third one is by prophecy, word of prophecy. The fourth one is God speaks to you through circumstances. Um, God can speak to you through his words in his scriptures. Two years ago, we traveled to Akure and um, on our way coming back, like, a terrible thing happened to us. Like we had accident that we almost lost our life i and my husband almost lost our life due to our ignorance due to not hearing um a lot of things that god showed us in so many ways due to not being a servant on this very day on this very day mind you a day before we travel my hobby like before we even go back and before we do any travel my hobby would take his car to the mechanic service the car they will check his brake check his oils they will check his um, um brake pad check his uh, light both fronts like all the lights in the car they will check it out they will check his um wheel alignment he will do wheel alignment he will have enough fuel so he normally get prepared for traveling like he get prepared for traveling very well at times he won't be in the mood to like drive the car down like at times he won't be in the mood like physically you know they used to be in the mood to drive you have to be in the mood to drive so at times when he's not in the mood we just take public transport and travel down to Akure so uh, but this very day we took our car back to Akure for Xmas and after the holiday we were supposed to go back um, two weeks before um, he resumed but we, we are not able to go back so we spent like one week 
and they have resumed so we needed to go back um you don't need to miss any other week because they've started work and he won't be giving them excuses upon excuses every time so um, we packed our load and i woke up that morning i was feeling somehow and i don't want to travel i told him that i don't want to travel he said ah, you must travel because i'm starting work on monday and we normally travel on sunday so i was like doing my face somehow though i woke up so different that day like very very different i wasn't in the mood to do anything we prayed and after praying we entered the bathroom we had our bed and prepared so when we approached the car when parent in law came to pray for us like they prayed for us they prayed for him they prayed for me they prayed for they blessed the car they anointed the car anointed us and we left okay on um, the first sign i'm going to be telling you some signs that we got before the accident happened we have drove for like um 15 20 minutes yeah and you know what it means for a car to drive for 20 minutes without a traffic so we have drove for like 20 minutes and hobby was like if you are you not going to vlog are you not going to make content i said i'm not going to make content leave me alone I was just sitting on my own so he said ah, okay no problem since you are not making content and my husband knows me like he knows me very well that I love like I always be with my phone I love staying with my phone if I'm not using it to chat I'm using it to like on social media I'm using it to reply my comments like I'm doing one thing I'm editing video or anything just doing one thing on my phone so he knows me and he was like surprised if you are you know with your phone okay where is your phone i was like do you want to use my phone that you're asking me where my phone is he said no where is your phone because i've not seen you with your phone okay and i said okay let me pick up this phone so when i checked the bag because i ca i normally carry this a cross bag a small handbag cross bag that i put my filming uh, equipment most especially the tripod for vlogging I put my charger, my power bank, my earpiece, my mic, like I put everything inside that bag. So um, everything was there, but when I opened it, I didn't see my phone. I was like, my phone is not here. I was like, where is your phone? Maybe you forgot it. I said, ah, maybe you. I told him that it might be inside the car, that don't worry, when we get to Lagos, I'll check. He said, no, check now. What if when you get to Lagos and the phone is not here, what are you going to do? Are you going to tell them to where be your phone when it's not closed that you can leave whenever you come back? He insisted on we looking for the phone. I came down, I looked for the phone, I didn't see it. So he said maybe I forgot it. So we drove home. When we got home, the phone was on the dining table, like the two phones, the small one and the big one. So I picked it up, entered the car and we left, okay? When we got to the road, um, they were cutting trees, so we had to like wait. I, I was like, what kind of nonsense, cutting tree, like big, big trees, you know, these big, big um, trees inside like a thick forest. So they started cutting it. So we had to like wait for them to be done so um we waited for them for over one hour plus over one hour plus so when they were true and we started going so and we've moved very far again when we encountered the third the third um problem the third sign that this journey is not meant for us today like out of not knowing so the third one um police stopped my husband to check his particulars and when he stopped, um, he showed them all the papers because <laughs> they can't get my husband. My husband is one person that is particular, like everything, anything about his papers, anything about his um, license are very complete. They are very complete. He does not joke with it. Like he don't joke with anything that has to do with his car. We stopped and showed the police the papers like all his papers were complete so that was how police checked our papers and after checking everything everything was complete so after checking the police asked my uh, husband anything for me you know that's their normal way one rule about my hobby is that if police should stop him if his papers are complete he's not going to give you anything unless it's coming from his heart because he believes that there is nothing between the two of you since you have checked his papers 
So um, he told him, oh God, nothing, nothing, no. So later he gave him the little money with him. So he gave him the little money with him and he entered inside the car. As we were about to own the car, the car refused to start. Like this is a car that went through mechanic. This is a car that we have been using to travel. This is a car that we filled the radiator before traveling and we know that the water we filled inside of the radiator so the water we filled inside the radiator is going to take us to lagos so when he opened he okay he came down because the car refused to start this time the car refused to start and hobby came down i was still inside the car he opened the bonnet the police was like uh uh oh, what happened to your car i don't finish with you now if you go say eh, i don't know what happened to my car my car refused to start so he opened his bonnet the bonnet and he don't even know where to touch he don't know where to touch then when he looked closely to the battery he noticed that the head of the battery had removed and my husband was like like how come how come did this battery remove like this like it's been removed so we looked for stone and i went to look for stone for him we found stone and he placed the battery head well then he used the stone to like and he stayed we own the car and we are supposed to know that these things are not ordinary because at that point it wasn't even long before we had the accident when the car moved it wasn't up to 10 minutes like it was not up to 10 minutes okay we moved and after like 10 minutes something told me that i should bring out my chaplet mind you i have prayed but inside of me i was not i was just so quiet i was feeling uncomfortable like at that point i was feeling very very uncomfortable so something told me to look inside my bag in front of me on my laps so when i looked inside the bag something told me to bring out the rosary like the chaplet the um chaplet inside the bag i brought it out and something told me to hang it on the mirror like this you know there is this mirror in front of the car that shows the back so something told me to hang it on that mirror and i was another another thing is telling me don't hang it as in the one that is telling me to hang it is more than the one as in you will not hear don't hang it don't hang it hang it don't hang it hang it don't hang it i was like what is this so i said i was not hanging the chaplet i was about keeping it i was holding it on my hand the next thing like everything happened so fast like very very fast like what i mean so fast very fast like if anything wants to happen to somebody in this life within a twinkle of an eye like a twinkle of an eye you would just so um i was holding this stuff and the next thing i saw was that hobby was struggling with the steering he was struggling with the car the steering like he was just shouting jesus jesus and me i started shouting like i saw the way the car was moving like the car fell break i saw the way the car was moving like he was struggling 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 i was the next thing and when i looked up when i looked up i saw a car coming towards our direction you know um when you are traveling they have people that are going and people that are coming back so but i don't know this man like this man oh this man left his lane he was supposed to be traveling um to the east we we are coming to lagos so it's just like go and going and coming so this man is supposed to be on that lane going to his place to wherever he's going to then we are supposed to be on our own lane but this man entered inside our lane i don't know i don't i can't explain so what happened was that hobby i was looking at hobby hobby was struggling um hobby was struggling like do it as in the next thing that was coming out of my mind is blood of jesus 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 like i can't remember how many times i shouted i shouted the name of jesus like and he came true he came true so the next thing i heard was that face to face collision with that car that was coming like face to face with full force we had accident Wah! like you need to see the sound I was scared I was traumatized for months 
for months I was traumatized for months I was hearing that resounding like that sound was coming to my head every minute I was having goosebumps anytime I remember it I was having um, nightmares so that was how the car jammed together and it took us to inside one place like inside one place if you see the distance where this car took us to the only thing is that we thank god that this car did not somersault if i did been this car somersaulted i would not be here saying this like i won't be here i would have been a dead person that's why anytime i i talk about the story anytime i remember how we were able to survive from this accident i always thank god so when we came down when that thing happened the car was just bringing out smoke both the other one and our own the driver passed out immediately um the passengers inside the other car started coming down like the driver was affected because first he was not on seat belt but thank god the first thing i do whenever i enter my husband's car and the first thing my husband do like my husband taught me that he made that to be like a habit so the first thing i do is to fasten my seat belt whenever i enter the car i use my seat belt had it been i did not use my seat belt like there is a flea station inside where we 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 landed ourselves and when we got there there is this big iron rod that iron rod is very very sharp so had it been i was not using my my seat belt i would have flied out of the glass like out of the glass and that iron would compress me and thank god um the airbag our airbag busted the airbag from the seat belt the airbag from my husband's side the dashboard my own side like the airbag busted like the head airbag held us back and wished us back to our seat so i was rushed to the hospital immediately because the glasses like the glass the screen of the car the glasses from the broken uh, uh, screen entered my eyes i wasn't able to see like if i'm able to find the picture i'll be attaching it for you guys to see so i was not i wasn't able to see for days for days i had to undergo um um I had to undergo x-ray to check if I have internal bleeding if we had internal bleeding I am my husband if we had internal bleeding if we if the glass affected my eyes and every other thing but when we got to the hospital nothing happened to us no broken bones no internal bleeding like we and when that accident happened we were able to come out from the car like we came out from the car with our two legs i was just sitting down the next thing that was coming out of my eyes is mouth is thank you jesus thank you jesus i don't really know what happened to me i was rushed to the hospital i wasn't able to walk like my two legs i wasn't able to walk at first they carried me to a nearby hospital they rushed me with another person's car and took me to a nearby hospital so guys i don't know how we got home that particular day after the accident but I think um, there is a car that volunteered to take us back home because we were almost, almost home. Like we are, we passed uh, Ijebu Ode. Yeah, if you know Ijebu Ode, we are, we passed Ijebu Ode. We passed Ijebu Ode. I think we are about to enter Ogun State, then Lagos, and that was how the thing happened. Okay? So um, it was when we got home that. Um, Hobby started telling me that he had a dream where we had accident. So had it been he related the dream with me, had it been I related my own dream with him, we would have entered that we would have ended that journey that particular day, okay? But we are so ignorant, we are like nothing is going to happen. We are like um okay, we've prayed, yes, it's going to we believe that God is going to um, lead us back safely to our destination so um so immediately the accident happened my mother-in-law called us on phone and we were like yeah we just had accident so she was like immediately we left that she had this bad feeling that she had to like run and go to church and started praying and since that time up to the moment she called that she knew that something bad 
um something is not just right okay so i think um if that had it been she related it to us because she wanted to tell us not to travel that particular day that we can use um the next day to travel but had it been she told us that we, we will not listen so it's good to listen it's good to like um have a conversation it's good to like open up to each other okay had it been we opened up because i had a dream my hobby had a dream and my mother-in-law had a bad feeling so so when we asked the driver that drove that sienna bus because he's a transport company when we asked um the other person close to the driver because the driver passed out so when we asked the person the person was like the, the car fell break i don't know they were just talking they were just saying something i don't know okay so a lot of times this boss might not be they might not be having proper checkup before they again the thing i observe is that this sienna boss yes god is the only one we can commit our journey into his hand okay god is the only protector we have but um we just have to take our own safety measures safety precautions so when you are traveling or when you get to the park it's better to use a bus like a bus you know a bus that contain i don't know how many um they used to be in the bus it's better to use a bus than sienna sienna runs faster and make your journey so fast and easy but sienna is prone to accident sienna normally have accident they run very fast and don't have control yes they don't their control is uncontrollable let me just put it that way so when you want to travel please and please you can use a bus instead of a sienna okay a sienna bus instead of a sienna bus okay yeah that's my own take when you are traveling if you have ever like if you have if god have ever spoken to you if you have ever heard the voice of god if you have encountered this kind of experience so guys this is going to be the end of this video don't forget to give this video a thumbs up like like this video comment down below subscribe if you haven't subscribed and i will see you guys in my next video